Hello, here is a new tomb mover by Uri Avner. A problem that is inside the book about his problems. I took it from there. It's a very nice tomb mover. I hope you'll enjoy to solve it. I will give some hints inside the, the video so you can choose to solve immediately or to solve after some hints. We'll see. I just recall what is a mating tool. White is down, they go up, the pawns are going in that direction the black pawns are going down of course and white is to move and white plays and mates in two it means first move with red or with no threat and on every answer of black there is a mate let's have a look at the jail of the black king it is completely closed here by the rook g7 that controls g6 and g5 and g4 G5 is controlled also by the knight and by the pawn h4. G4 is also blocked by the pawn g4. On the fourth rank, you have e4 that is controlled by the bishop, f4 that is controlled by the knight e6, e5 is controlled by the bishop and by the knight c4, e6 is a flight there is no white piece that is controlling e6. f6 is controlled by the pawn e5. What happens if the king goes to e6? If the king goes to e6, there is queen d7 mate. If the queen takes on e6, the king will have a flight on f4, but there will be mate on e3, because the queen no more will control e3, and the queen on a4 controls a4 when the knight is gone. So after queen takes on e6, we have knight e3 mate. So I give a hint. The solution will be to threat with white a mate by the knight c4. And I go on. A natural way to organize this threat is to control e6. A natural way to control e6 is to go to a2 in order to control e6 when the knight c4 will go when i go with the queen on a2 i'm threatening knight d6 and not knight e3 because it is controlled by the queen h6 what can black do first they can go and fly now knight d6 will not be a mate because it closes the line of the rook and then there will be a flight on d7 but uh, white can go on e3 because now the queen gives check the knight controls f5 and the rook d3 controls d7 we'll have a look at the next defense black can also take the knight e6 that gives a flight on f4 and now we will not have knight e3 because the queen left a4 and then you will have a f4 as a flight but now you have queen f2 mate because the queen doesn't control anymore f4 and because the flight is blocked by the black queen and on f2 of course the queen controls also f4 and also f5 so black has to find a defense against the threat on d6 and there is one queen takes g7 and now you have two flights on g6 and on e6 and there is no mate we have to find another move to threaten a mate by this knight c4. I give immediately the key. The key is knight to f4. That gives a flight on f4. That takes the flight on e6 because now the knight is controlling. And it closes the line of the queen on h6. So now knight to e3 is a threat because the queen from a4 can control f4 and then knight e3 is the threat if the king takes on f4 you will no more be able to mate by knight on e3 because it closes the line of the rook d3 and you will have a flight on g3 but you will be able to mate on d6 that controls f5 if black takes with the queen on f4 you'll have now queen d7 
and that's all there is no other defense by the black pieces so that's it it's one of the problems uh, you can find in the book we made with my friend Rafi Rupin about the problems of Uri Avner it's a very nice book you can find how to order it at uh, the address of uh, Peter Gvozjak it is written here uh, down on the video and uh, next time we'll see another problem thank you bye